part. Two. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online through print on demand websites like Redbubble. In today's video, we're actually talking about a free tool that I use to create designs for Redbubble and other print on demand websites. It actually came built in with my Windows 10 computer. It's called Paint 3D, and everyone who has Windows 10 should have this program. It's free and it's available to you through your operating system at no charge. So, why not use it? And it's actually a pretty featured filled program that you can use to create designs online. And even though I have a lot of programs that I paid a lot of money to create my designs for Redbubble and other print-on-demand websites, I find that I'm using Paint 3D for a lot of little things like touching up pictures and other things like that. It has pen support. So there's a whole bunch of things that Paint 3D works really well for and that you should explore and play around for yourself. In today's example, I'm going to create a t-shirt from uh, scratch on Paint 3D. So I'm going to set in uh, canvas size. And the canvas size that I'm picking is um, mostly what I use for t-shirts. If I was going to do something bigger like uh, a comforter or a shower curtain, then I would uh, go up a bit in pixel size. But for t-shirts, this works pretty well. Now, the only limitation that I find with uh, using Paint 3D for typography type work is that you're limited to the size of the text, which could be a problem if you wanted to make something a little bit larger. But you can play around with it and come up with some cool designs regardless. And like I said, it's a free program, so there is going to be some limitations, but you're going to be able to work around them and create something cool if you play around with the program. So we got a canvas here and I've removed the, uh, the background. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be transparent. Now I'm going to put some uh, black text on the screen here. Uh, so we're going to pick the highest um, that we can go with the text and then we're going to pick our color. I'm going to leave it at black for now. And uh, we're going to type in whatever we want to be on our t-shirt. So if you guys wanted to put this on a different color t-shirt, like for now, the black will work well with quite a few colors, but obviously you wouldn't be able to use the black on black. So you can change that out and uh, change the type to white, the color of white, and then you can do that on a black t-shirt. You do have the option of picking what shirts color uh, you want on red bubble. So if you want your default shirt to be black, then you can go in here, change this to white, and then uh, upload it to Redbubble and make your shirt default to black. Now, we're just playing around with this just to kind of get an idea of how this program works. So as you can see, I'm just laying out uh, some simple text here and playing around with it. And I can get a little bit more creative as I go along, but uh, this gives you an idea of how you can easily create um, a transparent background for a typography type t-shirt and using some of the shapes and other tools that are available in uh, Paint 3D, you'd be able to come up with some cool designs that uh, would look great on a t-shirt or other items through Redbubble. So let's go a little bit further into taking a look at the shapes. Say we want to put a, a little bubble around here. We can change the uh, thickness of the line. We can change the color. We can do a little bit of uh, playing around with some of the shapes. So in this case, we're going to just put uh, a thicker line and change the color to red so it pops out a bit. And if you were looking at that on a white t-shirt, it would stand out. Now say we want to add a little character or something along those lines. There's some more shapes we can play around with. And uh, depending on what your skill level is at drawing and playing around with uh, some of the features in Paint 3D, you might be able to create little characters or uh, import things that uh, add to this design. This is just like a basic of what you can accomplish with just this program uh, and the, at a basic level, somebody who's not really a graphic artist who just wants to start playing and trying to create something to upload to Redbubble. And as I said in the uh, thumbnail, uh, I have made over a thousand dollars just with using uh, Paint as my design program for um, Redbubble and some other print-on-demand websites and other projects I've worked on. So this program that came free with my computer helped me generate over a thousand dollars in income and uh, it's not even my main program it's just the program that I happen to have that came with my operating system. So if you guys are stuck for money and you can't purchase some of the latest greatest design programs um, you know you can do this for free and come up with some pretty creative uh, designs that you can upload to Redbubble. Now I mentioned that I also uh, edit pictures and uh, create designs based around photographs that I take with uh, this Paint 3D program. 
the uh, for an example here we have this backpack and it's yellow it's nice but maybe we want to change that out so that it appeals uh, to a different audience so we can go in with the fill tool pick a new color and we can just uh, fill in a new color so now we've turned it from yellow to pink and that was like really simple to do and now we have this other design that uh, we started off with something that was yellow now it's pink and we can play around with it add different functionality to this uh, picture uh, we're gonna add some text too so let me just get uh, touch that up a little bit here uh, maybe color that in right there okay so if I wanted I could actually go in and crop this or I can take it into a different program and remove the background uh, there's a lot of different things that I can do to the picture once I've edited it in paint 3d so as you can see sometimes I will use this program to do these kind of little effects and change things around and then I'll go into other programs to remove backgrounds or do things that are a little bit more complicated that I can't achieve inside uh, paint 3d but at its basic level look how easy this was to just change the color of this uh, backpack and now I'm gonna add some text here so we're gonna just uh, type in there backpack uh, we're going to make that a little bit bigger, actually. We're going to go as big as we can go. And now, uh, see the text is not uh, centered properly. Okay, we're going to play around with that. And we're going to get it down a little bit lower. And uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And now we have this new design that uh, we created with Paint 3D in just a couple minutes and uh, as you can see you can take a lot of your old work or photographs and create new things with them just by using paint 3d as a tool so um, I hope that uh, you've learned a little bit about paint 3d and the possibilities of it the best thing to do with paint 3d is actually to play around with it watch some of the tutorials that are on YouTube and um, there are a lot of resources online for paint 3d and people that use it exclusively to create art so if you have a Windows based computer I suggest you try paint 3d and uh, let me know how it goes let me know if you've uploaded any of your designs to Redbubble using paint 3d and if you've made any sales so the thing with paint 3d is you really have to play around with it but once you get the hang of what tools are available within the program uh, you could definitely use it for your Redbubble designs and uh, to start uploading designs that you've manipulated or created inside paint 3d now, I just wanted to say, if you guys haven't subscribed already to the channel and you like print-on-demand content and you like to make money with sites like Redbubble, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when the next video goes up. And if you hit the like button, you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We try to put up content a couple times a week, so if you uh, subscribe, you'll know when the next video goes up. And we always try to motivate you and make you guys believe in yourselves that you can get some sales on these print-on-demand platforms and all you have to do is keep uploading so we'll see you guys in the next one